Hello everyone. So far, we have discussed in our previous videos regarding the B complex vitamins. So there is another water soluble vitamin, but this is a non B complex vitamin that is vitamin C. So to say biochemistry in medicine, vitamin C has got a preferable place. Why? Because it is like more than a vitamin, it is acting like antioxidant. So the vitamin which is of more antioxidant properties is vitamin C. So there is like there is a story to say about vitamin C. In olden days, the way of traveling is uh, mainly through sea, like sailors. So to travel from one country to other country, it will be taking months to years. So in that condition, the people or the sailors who are traveling on the ship, they doesn't have any fresh fruits or fresh vegetables to consume. All only they used to consume that salted substances or stored meat. Okay they used to be consumed. So in that condition as they are lagging in consumption of fresh fruits and then uh, vegetables, they will be feeling sick and they will be undergoing death also. So like to uh, Columbus to talk about, so to identify the route to the India, he landed up in the West Indies. So that time most of his sailors fell sick. So in that time carrying the sick people in the ship is difficult task for them. So wherever they get the island they used to drop the ill patient or ill sailors on the island. So the way as Columbus traveled okay by dropping off few of their sailors so reaching the like uh, the west part of the America and then while return back okay so they have landed uh, on the same island where they have dropped their sailors and to know of anyone as like uh, live or dead so but his surprise the people are more healthy looks healthy then he tried to find out what might be the reason their recovery so then he found out that the green leafy or like some satyvum leaves which are in cure of some disease with unknown disease later on it has been identified as scurvy so the accidental discovery of vitamin C in curing scurvy. So as I mentioned which is having antioxidant properties it is must to uh, like to include in the diet of students or the persons who are under stress. So this will be the better substance or better vitamin to fight with the stress. So that's why college students should eat their fresh fruits and vegetables which are rich of vitamin C. So James Lynn a naval surgeon so he is the one who has extensively worked on scurvy to find out how this disease has been created or caused or and the treatment also he has suggested. So after that, so the sailors started carrying bottles of lime juice with them to prevent the scurvy. So to talk about the chemistry part, so before that I'll see, so most of the animals can synthesize vitamin C in their body. but as humans we cannot synthesize vitamin c why because we lack an enzyme okay so we lack an enzyme that is l gulonolactone oxidase l gulonolactone oxidase this is the enzyme which we are lacking otherwise we can synthesize vitamin c from galactose as we are lacking this enzyme so humans cannot synthesize vitamin c so structural formula this is the only vitamin which resembles to the structure of carbohydrate okay so L ascorbic acid or L glonolactone or L glonolactone. Okay, so this way you can say vitamin C in resemblance with the carbohydrate structure. So ascorbic acid, dehydro L ascorbic acid. There are two forms. So dehydro L ascorbic acid is the active form. Sources, as I mentioned, citrus fruits, green peppers, strawberries, tomatoes, broccoli, sweet and white potatoes, all are excellent source of vitamin C. Sixty milligrams of vitamin C required for adult per day okay the regular daily allowance 60 milligrams of vitamin C required for an adult per day and 70 milligrams in case of pregnant woman 95 milligrams for lactating woman and 100 milligrams for smokers so as I mentioned it has got antioxidant properties and smokers 
smoking contains lot of uh, free radicals and antioxidant uh, sorry oxidants to fight with this free radicals oxidants you require more antioxidants along with vitamin e which is a fat fat soluble vitamin it is not sufficient so for the support vitamin c will come into the action which spares the action of vitamin e so absorption it is readily absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract being water soluble vitamin so functions there are a lot of functions of ascorbic acid okay as i mentioned in the earlier the main function as antioxidant and hydroxylation of proline and lysine okay so mainly collagen so proline and lysine you can frequently found in the protein or muscle protein collagen so these hydroxyproline hydroxylysine are the characteristic amino acids of the collagen so for hydroxylation reactions vitamin c is required and steroid biosynthesis like cholesterol synthesis okay and sex hormone synthesis you require vitamin c catecholamine synthesis from tyrosine like noradrenaline adrenaline these two compounds need to be synthesized in presence of vitamin c otherwise there is no production of catecholamines bile acid synthesis like you know bile acids are coming from cholesterol and uh, formation of these bile acids from cholesterol so require vitamin c absorption of iron so iron like ferric and ferrous form ferric form cannot be absorbed so to convert ferric form of iron to ferrous form vitamin c is mandatory so without vitamin c it cannot be converted and it cannot be absorbed in intestine catabolism of tyrosine is also required vitamin c folate metabolism there also we require vitamin c folate is nothing but b9 vitamin b9 so functions being antioxidant it prevents the oxidation of stuffs like cholesterol and prevents atherosclerosis it prevents cancer okay as antioxidant and it regenerates functional tocopherol that means it spares the activity of vitamin e so as vitamin e alone so suppose you take 100 enemies or 100 uh, number of enemies 100 members of enemy are there so you are the only one to defend so it is difficult for you to defend so that's why you need some of the army so that antioxidant army along with vitamin e vitamin c is there next is beta carotene vitamin a is also there so these are all the things which defends the oxidant uh, substance oxidation of substances nothing but peroxidation or free radical scavenging so post translational modifications once collagen synthesized the amino acids proline and lysine which are present in collagen has to be hydroxylated so this hydroxylation post translational modifications has been carried out in front of or in the presence of vitamin c so catecholamine dopamine norepinephrine so all these things are also required vitamin c so cholesterol synthesis is also required and iron absorption you see here so dietary iron which is in like uh, ferric form in ferrous form only it will be absorbed fe2 plus so catabolism of tyrosine tyrosine will be converted to homogeneous state if vitamin c is not there okay like uh, plp is also required okay tyrosinemia if this is the one and if uh, vitamin c is not there this uh, hydroxyphenylpyruvate will be excreted in the urine causes phenylketonuria so folate metabolism conversion of dihydrofolate to uh tetrahydrofolate the there the I mean dihydrofolate to tetrahydrofolate there you require vitamin c and also in conversion of folate to dihydrofolate so this is also require vitamin c so deficiency manifestations there are a lot of diseases you can say hemorrhages uh, in various tissues general weakness and anemia swollen joints and swollen gums and loose tooth susceptible for inspection uh, infections delayed wound healing because collagen synthesis will be impaired and bone fragility and osteoporosis so they are all the characteristic feature of scurvy hemorrhages in various tissues and your uh, gums will be loose and teeth will be loosened okay swollen joints and swollen gums uh, continuous bleeding in the gums okay susceptible for inspection uh, infections and delayed wound healing you can make out in the pictures periodontal disease bleeding gum and scurvy okay periodontal disease like this uh, there is gum related issues bleeding gum as the arteries in the gum are fragile so there is a uh, continuous blood loss in the gums and scurvy the tooth will be loosened they will be fall off so therapeutic uses of vitamin c as i said from common cold to cancer being antioxidant has got all therapeutic uses so daily i mean like toxicity there is no being water soluble there is no toxicity and what is the requirement up to 2 to 3 grams per day can be taken more than 3 grams per day is undesirable anyhow it will be excreted in the urine so that's all about vitamin c thanks for the listening thank you